before this video starts i would just like to say a massive thank you for not only 400 subscribers but 500 subscribers that is absolutely insane um to celebrate i'm doing a giveaway over my twitter i will leave all the details in the description if you'd like to enter and yeah i'm just so thankful and ah, just thank you so much everyone and i will see you in the video Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel too. Today I have a very exciting video. If you can't tell by the little party hat. It was my birthday on July the 14th. Um, I don't know when this video was going up but it was yesterday as of filming this. But uh, for my birthday I received many, many, many books. I don't think I have ever had so many books in my life. Um, so today <laughs> I'm going to be doing a book haul, but before we start the book haul, I'd just like to do an honourable honourable, honourable mention to one of my birthday presents. It's a Spider-Man Builder Bear! And yes, I did turn 20. Um, some people may argue that I look 12, which I agree with, but I got a, spo a Spider-Man Spider Builder Bear. From my friend Rianne and I love him and he's like my favourite thing ever. So he's going to join us in the video today. He can be back there. There we go. Before we make a start on the video I'd just like to say I'm in no way bragging and I am so incredibly grateful for all the books that I have received. Like I did not expect this many books but here we are. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who had bought me books. I also got a £25 water stains voucher but I haven't used it yet obviously uh, so thank you for that as well. Okay so the first book that I have is They Both Die in the End by Adam Silvera. Uh, any guesses what this book is about? To be honest apart from the big spoiler that is in the title of the book don't really know what this book is about and I'm very excited to read it. I've put loads loads of these books that I've received I put them on my TBR ages ago so I can't really remember what any of them are, are about. The next book that I have is The Upside of Falling by Alex Light. I believe this book was a Wattpad story uh, don't quote me on that but I believe it was and it is a fake dating trope so I'm guessing these two characters fake date then they fall in love for real might be wrong but I believe that is what happens uh, I'm very excited to read this next up we have Eliza and her monsters I'm very excited to read this book I believe this book is about this girl called Eliza who writes fan fiction and then this guy comes along and he's fallen in love with her and she doesn't know how to handle it. I believe that's what it's about. But on the back it says that there's little um, artwork from her stories which is really cool. And I'm very excited to read this and the cover is so cute. Next up we have All Your Twisted Secrets by Diana Urban. This book I believe is a bit like a Breakfast Club but they go in to die. Thrilling! <laughs> uh, oh here we go. Like a di diabolical version of The Breakfast Club but with equal parts of murder and angst, All Your Twisted Secrets is a tense and exhilarating roller coaster sprinting against time to a shocking ending that will make you immediately want to read it again. Mm, okay, I am intrigued. I'm very excited to read this and I'm going to say that about all the books because I'm really excited but next we have A Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I haven't read anything by this author but I've heard so many things about her like the whole of booktube is talking about her so there must be something good about her books so as soon as I joined booktube I was like I'm going to have to start reading her books so I thought this would be a good place to start and it sounds very intriguing and I can't wait to read it. Oh. Okay, so I've just looked on the inside cover and this book seems to be the second book and I don't know if this is within a series or not. Let me just check because if it is, I'm going to have to wait to read this one until I get the first book. Okay, so I've just had a look and 
it just seems like the first one which is called the assassin's blade is like a you don't have to read that one first it's, it says 0 0.5 so i'm guessing it's like a short story don't really know it, but i will do more research into before i read this one because i don't want to get it wrong also the hat is coming off because uh, oh it's stuck it was making my face like even chubbier and I don't need that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Next we have a book that has been on my TBR for the longest time. Like ever since I started getting into reading I wanted to read this book and it is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I have wanted to read this for so long and I can't believe I finally have it but I'm very excited this is probably going to be the next book that I read or actually there's one other book that I have on this list which I'm super excited to read but yes ah! also within this copy I'm not sure if it's the same with other copies but there's like pictures of the creepy little children some people may call me out for calling them creepy but I haven't read the book yet obviously so yeah I'm excited I ooh, I wanted to read this book for so long and I can't believe I finally have it it sounds right up my alleyway because I like creepy little things this video should just be good I'm so excited to read this book because I am next up we have uh, something a little different we have Heartstopper volume 1 and Heartstopper volume 2 I got them both because I was sure I was going to love them and I've heard many great things about this series. It is a graphic novel about two guys, I don't know their names, what are their names, what does it say, oh Charlie and Nick and they fall in love and it just sounds adorable and I can't wait to read it and I kind of wish I picked up the third volume but we only have the first two just in case I didn't like them but I'm sure I will because cute little romance oh, cute little romance gra graphic novels what is there not to love and I'm so excited sticking on the LGBTQ train it's not a train but you know we have red white and royal blue by Casey McQuinston we all know I'm not very good at pronouncing last names but I'm very excited to read this it sounds a bit like uh, I was trying to think of something it sounds like I never heard anything like this but I'm excited uh, what happens when America's first son falls in love with the Prince of Wales <sighs> sounds saucy and I can't wait Ooh. also it's a winner because it's a floppy back I love floppy paperbacks. I'm just I'm just gonna spend all the time when I'm reading this doing this. Next up, again, we have a book that has been highly anticipated because if you didn't know, oh god, I love musical theatre. More specifically, I love Hamilton, and I have Alex and Eliza, which I believe was root after the musical came out but it is about Alexander Hamilton and Eliza Hamilton and how they fell in love and I cannot wait to read this because ever since the sh the show has come out on Disney Plus I've watched it 11 times it's been out for a yeah it's been out 11 days I on the first day it came out I watched it three times no regrets but I'm so excited to read this I believe there's three books in this series and I'm sure I'm gonna love it because I love Hamilton and anything to do with Hamilton and next up we have Renegades by Marissa Mayer Renegade Renegade Ren I can't do the Renegade that was my that was my attempt to do Renegade but I can't do it so I believe this book is a dystopian slash sci-fi book uh, don't get me don't quote me on that oh okay there also seems to be superheroes in this okay I am down I am so down to read this book anything with superheroes as you can tell 
right up my alleyway. Next I have The Diviners by Libba Bray. This book intrigued me a lot when I first heard about it. I believe it's been out for a while now. Uh, when did this book come out? 2012. So, mm, not that long, but a long time in terms of books. Uh, the Diviners is set in the 1920s, I believe, in New York City. 1776. New York City. Pardon me. Are you having birth? No. Uh, <laughs> This book is set in the 1920s in New York City and it deals with ghosts and I'm excited. Okay, I don't know if this is about, I think it's a murder mystery but I also think it deals with ghosts but don't quote me on that because I can't remember. But again, I'm very excited to read this. I think I might read this at like Halloween sort of time. Does anyone else do this? Like plan out when they're gonna read the books like for each season like if it's like a contemporary like read it in the summer even though it doesn't feel like summer at the moment or like this read it in halloween sort of time or is that just me because i like to plan things next up we have another book by sarah j mass so i really hope i enjoy the first book because i have a few books by her a court of thorn and roses again this is this book I found has a lot of mixed reviews, uh, mainly good reviews I believe and again I'm very excited to read this, I can't tell you what it's about because I can't remember but yeah. I feel like this sort of fantasy sort of books are something that I'm going to get into because I love all stuff like this and sci-fi and just I feel like this is right up my alleyway and a bit excited to read. Next we have a book that I'm a bit scared of reading because it is so big. It is literally a brick and I can knock someone out and it is Crescent City by Sarah J Maas. Uh, it's giant. Look how big that is. I am terrified. Uh, but this book has been very hyped over the past couple of days. I believe... Look at that artwork. Oh my god. I was going to say days, but it's been months. I believe this book came out this year. That is why it has been. The pages are really thin as well. Oh. When did this book come out? Yes. It came out this year, so I believe that's why it's had loads of hype, but. If that first bit of artwork is anything to go off of, I think it's going to be a good book, even if it is the size of a small house. But, yeah, no. I could actually knock someone out with that. That is so heavy, and it's hurting my arm to hold it up. Next, we have Illuminae. I think that's how you say it. I think this book is sci fi, but when I first opened it, what intrigued me was. It's not set up like a normal book. It's got like I don't even know. I just like look at that. So I don't really know how this book is gonna go about, but it has intrigued me a lot. I think this is the book where aliens try and take over the world. I can't remember. I saw loads of book recommendations on TikTok and I was like, I gotta get them, and I think that's what this book was about. I believe it's about aliens trying to take over the world, but again, don't quote me on that. I need to do more research into my books before I put them on my TBR. But yes, oh look at that! Oh, yes. oh I'm very excited to read this. As I am about all the books, we have another book, and it is with the fire on high. This book. I, uh, when did I hear about this book? I heard about it, I think last year. I think it came out last year, actually. Yeah, it came out last year, and I heard it on Zoe, read by Zoe's, uh, Magical Reader Thumb, I believe she read it, and it intrigued me a lot. It's about cooking, which I love, and about this girl called Ammonia, I think that's her name. Sorry if I got that wrong. 
and she is a chef she's 17 years old she wants to be a chef but she also has a daughter and yeah i'm very excited to read this it looks very good and also the artwork is so pretty look at that and on the back oh i love i love a book with oh pretty artwork that sails my boat that's not a saying <laughs> you know earlier when i said that i think it was alex and eliza was the book i wanted to read most i take it back stalking jack the ripper this book intrigues me so much because if you know me i love anything about true crime and serial killers and just anything like that i love it and jack the ripper is a case that probably my favorite one if you can have a favorite serial that sounds really bad but you know what i mean like i find stuff about jack the ripper so interesting and this book if you can guess it's all about stalking jack the ripper uh i believe it's about this girl who is trying to solve the case of jack the ripper could be wrong i think this is going to be my next read because i'm so excited if you couldn't tell oh i'm just so excited also we have another floppy paperback next we have another graphic novel which is again something that i'm really excited for and it is the umbrella academy uh i believe this is what the first season is based on i haven't actually seen the tv show but it is on my next thing to watch um my auntie got me this and i'm very excited to read this i think if there were any major umbrella academy fans out there i'm sorry if i just diss your tv show but i believe this tv show slash book is about seven kids i think seven seven children and they are all born they're all twins basically and they all have superpowers because they were born during a thunderstorm or something i can't really remember i watched like the first five minutes and i was like oh my god i gotta save this but yeah i'm very excited to read this and also it's written by gerard way oh i don't think i told you what the name of the comic was it was the umbrella academy apocalypse suite next i have a book that has been highly recommended and it is little fires everywhere by celeste ing this again is a book that i put on my tbr when i first started watching booktube and i just never gotten around to purchasing it or reading it and i believe it's a murder mystery i don't think it's a murder mystery but i think someone goes missing in it let me just everyone in shaker heights was talking about that summer how isabel the last of the richardson children had finally gone around the bend and oh burnt the house down okay so it's not about a murder mystery i don't think but this rich girl burns down the house i think i don't know why do i'm excited to read this okay we're getting to the end guys we have four books left a girl on the train by paula hawkins this book ever since i saw the film was coming out i wanted to read this but i haven't seen the film and i haven't read the book but it has enticed me i think it's a thriller i believe it's a thriller and thrillers are a genre that i want to get into reading more and if anyone has any good thriller recommendations not the song but also the song because the song's really good but books if anyone has any thriller books let me know down below because i want to get into more uh thrillers so okay so next we have a book by one of my favorite authors and it is the rest of us just live here by patrick ness patrick ness is my favorite author because if you didn't know uh his trilogy chaos walking trilogy which is by him is my favorite book series ever and i would die for todd and viola but that is a story for another time uh the rest of us just live here i again can't tell you what this book is about but i'm really excited just because i love every patrick ness book that i have read so i'm sure this will be a good one next up we have another patrick ness book and it is burn 
if anyone can guess which Hamilton song is going through my head at this exact moment you get 10 points um, <laughs> this book is about dragons that's all I need to say it enticed me as soon as I heard the word dragons I was like okay it's going on my TBR again I'm sure I will enjoy this book because it's by Patrick Ness and like I said earlier I just love anything that he puts out and every single book that I've read by him I have loved so we have burn and finally on to the last book we have Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn I think that's like yeah, you don't call her Gillian, do you? <sighs> I am so stupid. Again, it's a floppy paperback. <laughs> floppy paperbacks are like the equivalent to uh, dresses or skirts with pockets. That's how happy they make me. I believe this book is about a girl, well, woman who goes missing and her husband has to try and find her. Uh, I can't be too sure but I'm very excited so that brings us to the end of the book haul I hope you have all enjoyed this video if you have make sure you give it a bigger thumbs up comment down below if you have read any of these books or if they're on your TBR because I'd love to know and I will see you all very soon with another video bye